We define waste as any activity that does not add value to the process. If you look at all the activities you do on a normal day, probably 90% of the things that you do actually are waste and you would never even know it. The things like walking through the facility, getting your tools to fix the piece of equipment that just went down, doing the setup and the changeover of the piece of equipment. All of those things really don't add value and you do them every day and it takes a lot of hard work and energy but it really doesn't transform the product. There's seven basic wastes that you'll see in manufacturing and we'll touch on each one of them. Defects in manufacturing are from the start to the finish. It could be incoming from your supplier. Defects in the particular product that you're making could be packaging defects. Even how much you fill into the bottle and the quality of your outgoing product to your customer. It can also include all of the things that get thrown onto the ground. You know, whether you lose your food product on the ground, that's a defect and that ends up being a lot of money. And overproduction is just making inventory for no reason. We're going to build up either work in process or finished goods inventory and we're going to stockpile it in our warehouse. So we're not producing to customer demand, we're just producing. Most companies that we deal with in the process industry have extreme amounts of finished goods inventory which says we've produced stuff faster than what it's being consumed at. So that's typically the most obvious waste that's out there. When we look at inventory, there's really two types, work in process and finished goods. If we have work in process inventory, it's just hiding all of the issues that you currently have in your facility. Whether it be downtime, quality problems, maintenance problems, all that inventory hides all the real issues, so you never really get at fixing the problem. And we could have stockpiles of a ton of inventory that's just not the right inventory. So we want to build the right stuff at the right time to satisfy our customers. When we talk about wasted motion, most of the times it's obvious when we go to do a product changeover. If you think about taking a video camera and watching what those changeover people do, all of a sudden when you're looking at the machine, everybody walks away from the machine and nothing's going on. If you look at this example of the spaghetti diagram, the individual who had to execute the changeover walked over a half mile going through the facility, getting all the tools required to do this setup. So the first question that we ask them is, what's happening, where are you going? And you get lots of discussion around, well, I have to go get this, I have to go get that. So we're trying to reduce that to get everything where you need it, when you need it, and then do the limited amount of motion to get the job done. Overprocessing is when you put more into your product than what your customer is willing to pay for. An example would just be overusing energy, whether you're cooling it down or heating it up far beyond what the specification is to get your end result. And you're using a lot more energy and money that you don't need to. Transportation in your facility happens everywhere. It happens at the front end and it happens at the back end. If you see fork trucks moving equipment or goods around, that's waste of transportation. If you're transporting your goods on a conveyor belt, it is just being transported from one spot to the next over hundreds and hundreds of feet. Waiting is one that you'll always see in your facility. It's people standing around waiting for the next operation to be completed, waiting for documentation to show up to their location, waiting for maintenance to come and fix the piece of equipment. All of those things are just waste. Every time the machine is not producing product, it's really a wasteful action in those environments. So setup reduction or setup changeover activity is a significant waste. Equipment downtime is another significant waste. So when machines stop producing for other reasons other than changeover, those are significant wastes. In addition to the seven wastes, one of the key principles we work on in Lean Sigma is 5S. And it's really trying to organize and clean up your workspace and it makes people feel better about working at your location and it also helps you uncover all the things you never really saw before. By teaching the fundamentals of workplace organization, having a place for everything and having everything in its place and having it labeled, that kind of gets people in the mindset of being organized and disciplined. So 5S becomes sort of the building block upon which all the other improvement activities can take place. It's about cleaning up and organizing your workplace to become more efficient. Whether it's things on the ground, whether it's tools in the right spot, 5S really is an imperative when we're doing Lean Sigma. 
Waste elimination becomes a, a central part of an improvement strategy because it really helps companies produce a better quality product. It helps eliminate a lot of costs through higher productivity levels that we can attain and, and it helps them become much more responsive. You need to start seeing waste and eliminating it and you need to start doing it now.